Did you seriously fall asleep? Wake up, boy. Did we have an elevator crash? Well, the lady's gone. But it doesn't mean we won't run into her again. Especially because we kind of know that everything is happening somewhat concurrently. And we also know that Six is the one who kills the people. Everybody that we've seen so far. Which means, if we come across them again, all we can do is maybe outsmart them. But we can never really truly get rid of them. That might be a bit of a problem. Hey. Do you want to follow me and get out of here? Ooh. Got a fancy library. Oh, look, how pleasant. How pleasant. It looks like the fire was just put out recently. Somebody was just here. We have a flood, but the books are okay. That's gotta be a small blessing. Who's that? Oh no, are we in the... the lady's place? <gasps> Do you see that one book on the shelf on the bottom rack? Why do we see the face like that? That's so creepy. Can we really not touch it? That's so scary, look at that. Oh, maybe we... Maybe we gotta find another book and put it in? Find the other half of the face or something? Or can I put like a random book in there? Oh, it does work. But you want the face, probably. Okay. If I see it, maybe I'll come back. At the minimum, it doesn't seem to be in this pile. Maybe it opens the door, but do I really want that? I'm not even sure. There's a lot of books here, though. But they should be nice to me. Like, they should put the spine on my side so I can see it. Don't see any of those so far. Can I climb on this? No, I can't. Okay, we'll keep it in mind. Who's the other lady? This is the... the geisha lady. Who's this one? Same lady, but without the makeup, maybe? She might be a bit of a narcissist. Not too much. Oh, frick, look at that! Look at that photo in the back there. That's the porcelain kids, isn't it? From two? I'm pretty sure those kids weren't in the first one, right? So, is that a foreshadowing of what's to come? Because so far, we're in the third DLC already, but I guess aside from TVs, doesn't really feel like there's too much two content. How much two content is there? I don't really expect there to be a lot. The TV might just be a coincidence too. It might not be real.
Well, I haven't seen the... I'm casually keeping a lookout for any creepy books. So far, none. But creepy music. <gasps> She's got a key next to her. I forgot about the lady's powers entirely. What happened? I got too close? I didn't sprint. She just realized I got really close. That's all. We were not allowed to go further out into the... Um, yeah, the camera. It won't let me go that far out. So I guess we're just gonna walk past. Mirror's broken. Why? Why would I want that? The lady is not blind. Whoa. And she's also a bit of a narcissist. She's got paintings of herself everywhere. <gasps> oh, you scared me. Is that the right book? I don't think so. Is this gonna be like last time where we had a hub and we're trying to solve puzzles? Uh, this, uh... <laughs> that really doesn't look like the Earth as I know it. Broken statue. Gnomes! Where are you? Hey, there's stuff on the ground. There's symbols on the ground, you see it? I'm standing on a circle. There's a triangle. And maybe a rectangle here. And another eye door. There's a lot of these around. Oh, maybe I gotta put something down here. A book? I guess we can just look around for now. Try turning this off. Do I really want to? Let's keep it on. We could use the extra lighting. We know the lady is busy dressing herself up right now. She's not gonna come around, hopefully. She's, uh... She loves reading, doesn't she? Hmm. I can move this. But why? I can't move it past the boxes. Okay, so really, the only place I can put it is here. That works. Do I want this book? It seems to have a special spine. Maybe? Throw it down- oh! Triangle book? Seems promising. Oh, there's the face! The other half of the face! Do I just drop down? I don't think there's much else here. Okay, so we have two books then. Yeah, this is the face. For the other one. What about the other books? This one kind of looks promising too. If we can see the cover properly. Oh, but transporting it is gonna be so hard. I gotta pick them up one by one, really? This one's circle. Okay, let's do the one nearest to us first then. Oh, that's probably why they let me... Because when we came here, there's a little crack where you could throw the books down. That might be it. Not here, but above the lamp. 
So I'm just gonna throw all four books down then. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about your weak throw. Ugh. This one is the one with the face. I think. The way he's holding it, I can't really see it anymore. And then the other three, I've thrown down here. So why would I want to turn the lamp off? That would make it so much harder. Oh, I can't even see all the books anymore. There's so many in the corner. I can't help but feel like there must be a better system to do this. Just throwing all the books down seems kind of silly. Especially when there's so many other random books lying around too. It's really easy to get confused. For example, this one is garbage. Put that on the side. So where was my other one then? I threw down three. Is it this one? I think so, okay. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Hmm. Whoops. Tripping over the books. I believe I'm holding the circle. And then... Oh, that's gotta be right. You know it's right when there's an autosave. <laughs> this one is... Triangle. Put it on the right spot. <laughs> Boy! Uh, good enough. And then this last shape here. I don't even know what it is. It's like a squarish. <laughs> Please, handle with care. Handle with care. No? It's a diamond. Are there more than three spots? Uh, it did feel like... Hmm, maybe I got these ones mixed up? No, this is definitely a circle. You can see it already. Yeah. Did I not do it right? Oh, maybe the save isn't really what I thought it was then. Really? This one might be wrong, because I don't see a diamond here. It's kind of like a... squarish thing. Um, but I don't see any other tiles that I'm missing, right? Just looking around here? I don't think so. Maybe there's more I gotta do. Okay, you know what? In that case, let's hold off on this. I'll just put it here. Because what I'm expecting to happen is maybe the door will open. But I don't actually know. Yeah. Okay. What we can... Oh, I can just push it into place. Kind of. <laughs> Forget it. Don't mess with it. What I can do is probably put this book on the other side. Would that be okay? Can I make it past the lady? Oh, we should probably turn this back on too. Just to get a little bit of lighting around here. Excuse me, lady, I'm just bringing a book around. It's a little bit hard because when you hold onto an object, you can't crouch. So we kind of automatically run. I'm like moonwalking. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me walk past. Oh. What's she even looking at? The mirror's broken. She's kind of just meditating. And she likes music boxes too. Okay, I'm expecting... Okay, that chair scared me for a second in the hallway. I'm expecting once I put this book down, the door will open. 
Do I want the doors to be open? I kind of don't know. They all have eyes on them. Come on, boy. Almost there. I know the book is like the size of you, basically, but we gotta... We gotta practice your arm strength and all that. Oh. Oh. Not that door, but this door. I didn't even know there was a door here. Oh. 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 That's... That's pleasant. Somehow I get the feeling once we do this, the lady's gonna be angry. What should I do? Should I hide somewhere? Oh, I should have pushed it in front of me. I can't really see if there's anything on the ground now. I don't think there is. I'm certainly not picking anything up. Hmm. Maybe it's just sort of weakening her power by doing this. Okay. Not so sure about those kids just frozen there like that. But all right. That will remain closed. Of everybody? The lady seems really in tune with the whole eyeball stuff. Even her drawer handles are eyeballs. It's kind of freaky. She's still here. All of the puzzles seem to have stuff to do with books, maybe? Hey, you and your porcelain dolls. Maybe our goal at the end is to try to get her to walk away from here so we can grab that key. Or does Six grab the key? I don't quite remember. Oh, lovely. So we kind of figured one out. Maybe we gotta open all four spaces and get some more vases. The second spot? Actually, was there any more to this room beyond the... what we saw? Maybe there's more books, because we didn't solve whatever we needed to do below us yet. Keep walking, keep walking. Like, for example, this book? What is it? Nothing? Seems like it. Did you see that? I keep feeling like I see something in the shadows. Was it just me? Like, right over here. Huh. Oh, there's one more! Hold on. Wait, what? Hey, these, uh... Weren't these the ones I pushed down? Why are they back here? Oh. Maybe I didn't get them in the right spot and now they're all back? Hey, what the heck? It's all back here! Oh, okay, you know what? I just threw one of them down, but the one that we just picked up from up there... Does it go into this hole? Because, uh, what do you call it? The sleeve looks kind of similar. It feels right. Something changed. I don't know what, though. This one? I had to reset again to bring the books back up here. Okay, so maybe they didn't want me to bring the books down after all. They were supposed to remain in here. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Is there a spot for the last one? It's gotta be in a place where I can reach it. Oh, right here! Oh, in the dark. Oh! Nothing to do with bringing it downstairs, just staying here. Way easier than I thought it was. Ah, oh, now we want to replace the broken one with this one. Or maybe I can break this one too. <laughs> That'd be okay with me. Ah. But can I even climb that high up? 
Because I think downstairs, that one spot was pretty high up. We can try, but I don't know. Man, this lady really loves herself. Everything around here, all the statues, all the portraits, it's all of herself. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that little... the little planet thingy isn't of her. <laughs> oh! Okay, that could work. So maybe this is like the final one then, and then we put this one... Okay. Uh, sure. I'll put it down there for now. Because that one had a square base. Maybe we'll find the other ones with triangle bases, circle bases, in... On this side. Hmm. That easy? Mm, I feel like this is a trap. It's gotta be a trap. <gasps> what is that stuff? Ew. No, it's the- the leeches are gonna come out. The leeches. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Here? Um. Um. Place it down! Place it down! No! Oh no. It's way worse than leeches. There's gotta be a way around it, though. But this one also has the same base as the... the one that we just picked up. But it's not made of wood. Oh, maybe what we can do is... Can I bring the one from downstairs up here? And then replace it? What? What was that? I'm just bringing the wooden statue up here, that's all. What? That was weird. Like, something needs to be in that spot, so if I... Put this one out... Okay! Okay, we're happy. We're happy. We want the porcelain one, we don't like wood. Because wood is... Kind of garbage. But this one, should we put it in the bottom place then? Because now I'm not so sure. Maybe we should just put it around on the ground first because we don't even know why we need it yet, right? Just hang it around here. And we can check out what's going on upstairs. Lady is into astrology, maybe? And eyeballs, as usual. What the hell was that? If I shine a light on it, the eye closes. Interesting. Oh! Great. That's convenient. Hmm. Another eyeball here. Does that one also close? If I... Well, there's eyeballs everywhere on the ceiling. Holy crap. No, this one doesn't close. This one has a lock. Oh, maybe I want to shine the lights on the eyeballs. Three lights, three eyeballs. How do I move it properly? Yeah, I think that's definitely the idea here. Three lights, three eyeballs. But we gotta somehow move it into the right spot. 
And I do mean somehow, because how do we predict where this is gonna go? Might be a little bit difficult. Okay. It's not moving though. It's kind of shaking, but it's not moving. It's never moving. Why? Okay, that's got that eyeball. Wait, so each time we press the button, one thing moves? Oh, okay, I see. The lever determines which thing we're moving. Which specific light. It's not that all three lights are moving at the same time. I see. So like this? Uh, I think that's facing the right one? I can't really tell. No, and then we probably want to move the middle one. Is that the right one? Oh no, that moves everything. Okay. Wow, that was entirely intentional. Great. Now this one. Good. Oh my gosh. Porcelain statues. She's a connoisseur of the arts. I can say that much. Oh, wow. Why do some of the statues not have heads, though? That's a little bit... Hmm. Look, again. The porcelain kid. God, okay. Hey, that's a teacher, isn't it? From the second one? That looks a lot like her. Whoa. Who are these people? Oh, there's buttons here. There's buttons on all of them. And there's two statues in the middle. Okay. Let's try pressing some of them. Do we have to do this in a certain order? How do we know the order? How do we know the order? They all act independently. Oh? Was that not right? Wait, was I doing it right the whole time except for that one... the fifth one? No, it goes this way, too. How come sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong? I guess we don't know that part. Yeah, that's wrong again. Why? Are we trying to look at the commonalities of the paintings? Like, all men, all women? But you can't really even tell, like, for example, this one. Okay, no matter what we do, at the fifth one, the lights turn off. So it seems like we gotta find a combination of four, maybe? The right combination, the right order of four paintings. But how do we find the order? Is it shown around us somewhere? These two... They don't really move. If we look at them... Men, men, women I guess. Men, woman... That could be a guy or... Uh, hard to tell. 
Or maybe there's more in the previous room? Like people that appear in the previous room. Something like that? I don't recognize very many people here though. Oh, that one. The one in the corner. Hat? Guy with a hat? Guy with a big nose? Guy that I'm not sure if it's a guy? Like that? Guy with a hat... Oh, this guy was there. I think you were there too. That was a guy with a big nose. And then the guy that I'm not sure if it's a guy. One more? Oh, guy with a hat. Oh, but maybe I need five, because five decides whether it's right or wrong. So not four, but five. Is there one more person here that I haven't pressed? I can't really see that well. It's hard to control the flashlight. Oh, that one there? The one I'm centering on? Curly hair lady? Yeah, you. Okay. So not the teacher. Not the teacher, even though we recognize her, and not that kid. Okay, yeah, that one has a different base, doesn't it? It's a triangle base, I think. So probably later on, all we gotta do is bring them all back to the first floor. That's the final spot. But as soon as I pick it up, what's gonna happen this time? it? Oh, oh, oh! That is not it. I gotta use the statues to my advantage. Oh, I got turned into a statue! Damn. Can we move these? I don't think so. Okay, we'll just have to find the right spot then. No, 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 it took too long. Yep. Good. But now I gotta move to the pillar behind me, I guess. Bingo. Um, I gotta press the button. Can you press it without the thing, or do you need the thing to press it? No, no, no! I'm okay, I'm okay. It's just that they closed off the place for me, I gotta... Um... We're fine, we're fine. And we're out of here. Oh, I don't like that sound. Who was that? When I'm carrying the statue, I can't have a light. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure I saw a shadow behind this statue just now. There was a person peeking out.
Look! Look! There's a person right there! It's okay, we're almost there. Are we good? So now I have a triangle statue as well as the square statue that we got before, which is no longer here! Where is it? Do I have to go get it again? Oh, maybe I should just put it down properly then. Hold on. I just don't want to walk so many times, that's all. Did it record that I got this one already? I think it did, yeah. It's wooden, but where did you put the real one? <laughs> Is, I guess, my question right now. Maybe they put it right where I wanted it. Or actually, I don't even know. All I know is that it's not really here anymore. That's not good. Oh, okay. Good! That's good, actually. You've made it so that I don't have to carry it around. But just for insurance sake, we will put this down. The one we got has a triangle base. Right, so now we know we're putting it in the right spot. Okay. It just so happened that the books in the upper floor also had a similar set of symbols. But no, we were really looking for statues here. Which makes sense, because literally everything else in this room is also statues. Square base. Okay. Now, the last one should be on the... Oh. I thought it might have been on that side, with a door. Hold on. Who turned off the lights? Turn them back on. I'm actually not sure if we want to go up then, because I don't remember there being a way to open that door. Do you want me to check out what's happening here? Right, because the other door... Oh, she's not here anymore, which means... Okay, no! How many of them are there? The key. We gotta bring it up. But remember, now we can't have it in our pocket. We gotta carry it the whole time. Without lights. Good thing I turned this one on. Okay. Whoa, I see them already. I see them already. Do you guys mind coming out so I can kill you so I can move on with my life? Guessing that'll be a no. Were there really no lights on anywhere here? Holy crap. Oh, I gotta use the elevator, because I can't climb with the... Um... Whoa. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm actually seeing it or am I, like, hallucinating. And we got the big light. No, 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 no! Oh! No! The key's on the thing. Oh, I died! Oh my gosh. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. We do have a light. Okay. This is kind of like the hospital in the second one. Oh, 
It's okay, it's okay. After seeing the hospital, I don't think you guys can scare me. Especially because I can actually kill you if you get too close to me. Yeah, yeah, you wanna come here? You wanna come here? Those guys are kinda made of porcelain too. Porcelain masks. Kinda like the opposite of the ones in the second one. Okay, so we have a lever here. Do I need the stool? I can't reach it. And I think they keep spawning. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hold on, guys. I'm busy. I'm busy. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Oh! Damn, that guy was brave. Come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your cooperation. I'll be taking my leave now. Okay, we just gotta be careful. They're born from the shadows too though. They're not static. Okay, can we jump over here? Yes, we can. Am I looking for anything in particular? Or do I just want to get out of here? Little bit of column A, little bit of column B. It's okay, I, f I feel okay here. Compared to the guys in the hospital, and compared to even the depths earlier, I think this is manageable. Wow, this lady is such an intellectual. She has so many books. Does she read any of them? I don't know. Maybe she's actually just been posturing the whole time. Pretending to be smart. It's mine. Thank you. Get away. What am I trying to do here? Spin this thing. Come on. What am I trying to spin? Gotta stop for a sec. I felt like there, were m there was more in this section though, back in the very beginning. I didn't walk to the end of the hallway. I wonder if we'll get back to that. Oh, this thing is still moving! Shoot! Oh, they're getting born again! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Dude, I gotta do this faster! Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way! Go, 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 go. Isn't that the maw? Oh, it's like one of those, um, the covers you put on the food before it gets served. Maybe her meal's coming here. Oh, geez, that's loud. Did you like this vase, lady? Too bad. Too freaking bad. 
It didn't do anything for me though. <laughs> okay, we have a door here. We have a suspicious thing here. I can hold on to it. Oh. Well, I wasn't wrong. You do have food in there. Food? You have a reward in there. But as soon as I pick it up, what's gonna happen? Nothing. But then the question is... How do I get the door to open? We got the doll. Door remains shut. The lamp looks a little bit suspicious. Oh, that's it. You know, if I hadn't played Little Nightmares 2, I probably wouldn't have thought of the lamp. Even though it did just flicker. Oh jeez, that scared me. Oh, okay. Good. Good. But you know who's been missing? But you know who's been suspiciously missing the whole time? Yeah. Oh, it's too dark, I can't walk. Where am I? Before we put the statue down... Let me put it down in the middle here. I want to go back and check that one place again. The one place that I thought we didn't visit yet. Maybe it was a dead end, but it's right here anyway. So I feel like we can probably... Unless if you're telling me that you're gonna trap me in there again. Oh, it's closed! Okay, well, fine. That's fine. I just thought that at the very beginning, when we could have walked to the end of the hallway toward the screen, I didn't get a chance to check it out. But that's okay. We turned off the lights again. I didn't think you guys were all about saving electricity and being environmentally conscious and all that. Just for peace of mind, I'm going to turn one back on again. Although it doesn't seem like the shadowy people are coming out again. Last but not least. Here we go. Did Six fight the lady already? But you can hear her. I'm sorry about your face, but that's not my problem. Why did the floorboards creak? I just want to get out of here, please. Don't be angry at me. I'm not the one who ruined your face! Don't be mad... at me. You can be mad at other people. Just... Not me. Not me! I said, you can't be mad at me. That's not fair, right? Because I didn't do anything to you. I literally didn't do anything to you. If you've got a grudge, take it up with the right people. I have a gigantic flashlight on. She knows exactly where I am. 
Should I just run? She's trying to scare me. Okay, go. Oh. What? Open the door. You kidding me? Oh. Did it open? Uh, thank you. You know, by the ending of, um, the previous one? There was that room where we saw all the gnomes, right? I didn't notice it when I was playing it, but in editing? Like, you can see in the video that you could see that the, the shadows of the gnome were not triangular hat-shaped. They were like people. So now that we're seeing this... <gasps> oh no, you know what this means? Oh no. Oh no, what if we see six now? Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> I'm a gnome! This is how gnomes are made! Oh, I can't... I can't make it! Oh! But I thought the kids were eaten though. So some of the kids that don't get eaten get turned into gnomes instead? How does the lore behind that really work? Oh! Oh! I want to go home! I can't do anything by myself! I can't even open a door! I don't have hands! Do I have hands? No, I think I do. <laughs> oh! No, you know what this- I know where this is going. We're going backwards now. We saw this in the main game. I can completely guess where this is going. No. Cause you know what? This is probably about the time when Six gets hungry for the first time. Oh, I don't want to go down. No. Oh, I don't even need to crouch. Because I'm so small. Oh. They don't even show you. Would I have wanted to see that? Probably not. No. Oh. That 
does call into some questions about the nature of the gnomes though. Like why do the gnomes exist? And it's the little people, kids, getting turned into um, gnomes by the lady? All of them? Huh, so I guess by this point, Six was just about to get hungry for the first time. She hadn't met the lady yet, right? But then the lady was all sad and whatever about her face already. And all the mirrors were broken, even though we hadn't seen Six yet. Oh. Oh my god, what? Oh! Ah. Oh. I guess that was the thin man at the end there. TV, pretty obvious reference to the second one, the sequel. But I wonder how much, um... I guess while they were working on the second one... I mean, when they were making the DLC, they were already working on the second one. That's why we see these things. Um... Secrets of the Maw. We consume kids, but we also turn kids into gnomes. Okay. That's a little bit... Wow. Too bad we don't really get to learn more about this in the second one. Especially because it's not entirely clear. Like, it seems like the sec- Oh. I'm gonna talk about spoilers for the second one now. If you don't want to listen to it, uh, I will put a thing on the screen. I was gonna say, especially because we don't know whether the second one is really like a prequel or sequel. It seemed to be pointing at saying it was a prequel because Six saw the poster of the Maw and presumably... Well, she got the raincoat in the second one. And then she came here, somehow. Yeah, doesn't really solve any mysteries either way. That's the thing about Little Nightmares too. It raises all these weird questions, but then you're just kind of left mulling over it. The gnomes. But then the one gnome kid in the second one. Oh, that was a kid too. Although I know from a fourth wall breaking perspective, that one gnome in the second one apparently was just a DLC. <laughs> it's some kind of like a pre-order DLC or something. Maybe just a fun little cameo. Man, though. Man. Well, that was fun. But I do feel like the quality of the DLCs in general were a little bit lower than the main game. Been a while since I played one now, but just comparing... For example, there's no bugs. Like, in the, in the second one, I don't remember any bugs. In the first one, too. But this one had quite a few, especially in the second chapter with all the gnomes and stuff. In terms of the puzzle solving, I didn't really like the second DLC. The one where, you know, the gnomes were all over the place and we had the furnace and all that. That one didn't really feel like it was designed by the same person who did the first DLC. Or even the main game, because I feel like a lot of times it was really unclear what you were trying to do. I'm still thinking about that jar puzzle where we had to jump to make the little gnome jump. That one seemed a little bit too crazy to me, and there were multiple of these kind of puzzles. But I did enjoy the parts where we had to run away from the guy with the long arms. I think I liked the first DLC the best, the water section. Little surprise where they bumped you off the sofa and all that. I like that, even though it was scary. And then two and three. I guess I liked the third one a little bit more. Felt like it was a bit more straightforward. But I guess overall, the big secret that we're learning here is that kids are gnomes. Gnomes are kids. So if Six eats one, not only is she eating a living being, but she's eating someone who used to just be like herself. <sighs> and did it really have to be the specific one that we were playing as? Oh my god. Fun little ride in general though. Little Nightmares has always been pretty creepy and atmospheric. I've heard news that apparently the devs don't plan on doing any more in this universe, but Bandai Namco wants to, so I'm not sure if we'll see more content in the future, but if it does come out, I'll probably be back for that. This was Wellens, thank you so much for joining me with the DLCs of Little Nightmares 1. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!